rovers will play a very important part in exploration both on moon and mars yes we are trying to see how different type of controllers can be used to control these rovers the study which we are doing at amity 24 is called human A's. And its main task is to compare these controllers. We are sending five rovers to Amity. Three of them are exploration rovers. Two of them are heavy duty rovers. The exploration rovers map and explore the area around the habitat. The heavy duty rovers will come next, follow those paths, pick up samples and bring them back to the habitat. The primary controllers is traditional gamepad controllers. The new technology is brain computer interface controller. We will use to do simple locomotion tasks of the rovers to go forward, back, left, right. The virtual reality controllers are actually operated from inside the habitat. So they do not have a direct view of the rovers and they rely solely on the input that comes from the onboard cameras. We are collecting two types of data. One is using biomarkers which can range from heart rate to temperature and even brain pattern by using the BCI headset. These will show is he feeling stressful, is he anxious. The second type of measurements is experiment or task questionnaires. I think it is very evident that such a technology and study will help wide applications also back on Earth. Uh, search and rescue missions in remote locations using tele-operated rovers in extreme conditions like Antarctica, in deserts, in marshlands. The humanist team currently consists of 10 students, a combination of different engineering backgrounds. My background is an aerospace engineering student. Uh, I specialize in space system engineering and currently I am also leading a project uh, for building a moon rover. We have had uh, most hours experiments done in the lab and Amity 24 uh, Analog Meshes creates a unique opportunity for us to collaborate with other similar teams which we would have never known. <laughs>